Philosophy is boring. I agree. Is this video supposed to be short? If we have nothing to talk about, then this video will be quite short. Do you want this video to be short or long? Well, I'm bored, and starring in this video is pretty fun. At least more fun than philosophy. Let's talk about psychology. Let's quiz each other on the coming quiz 7. The quiz is about chapter 7, which is about memory. Right. What is enteroactive interference? Or is it enterograde interference? It's retroactive interference, proactive interference, enterograde amnesia, and retrograde amnesia. You're smart. What are enterograde and retrograde amnesia? What are retroactive and proactive interference? Haha. <laughs> you have amnesia? No, it's because I don't study as much as I would. Well, I didn't study that much either. Let's see. Retrograde amnesia is loss of memory gained before the brain damage, which means people with retrograde amnesia forget past memories. Enterograde amnesia is loss of keeping long-term memories after the brain damage. That means if a provisional student in the early entrance program has enterograde amnesia, then he or she can't remember facts for psychology, at least not for long. Proactive interference is new things learned causes difficulty to remember past things learned. And retroactive interference is old things learned makes it hard to remember new things. I think so. Let's check Freddy's Microsoft Word document. Well? Did you find out yet? Um, ah. Here it is. I think it's the opposite. Retroactive interference is learning new things causes difficulty to remember past things learned. And proactive interference is past things learned makes it harder to learn new things. Is it possible to copy and paste Freddy's Microsoft Word document here? I think so. Let me try. Memory is process of retaining information or the information retained. Free recall is a method of testing memory by asking someone to produce a certain item without substantial hints, as on an essay or short answer test. Cued recall is a method of testing memory by asking someone to remember a certain item after being given a hint. Recognition is a method of testing memory by asking someone to choose the correct item from a set of alternatives. Explicit memory or direct memory is memory that a person can state, generally recognizing that it is the correct answer. Implicit memory or indirect memory is memory that influences behavior without requiring conscious recognition that one is using a memory. Procedural memory is retention of learned skills. Declarative memory is recall of factual information. Information processing model is a view that information is processed, coded, and stored in various ways in human memory as it is in a computer. Wow, that's a handful. There's way more than that. Let's do that in part two, okay? Okay.